All right, so we just got uh, back from the river, and uh, I filleted all the cats on the river, but I left the skin on so that I wouldn't have to worry about gutting them or anything at home. So we're about to do a little catch and cook. So the way I like to do it is uh, obviously you want to rinse all the meat off. You can see right there. I bleed all my fish, especially catfish, because they're real bloody. You can see the meat, it's just like real nice white, snow white meat. But anyway, so all I do is I uh, start at the tail here and I fillet the meat off of the skin. So then you're just left with. Uh, the fillet. Now this is the part that people get wrong. If you look at that, you get close there. All that is the fat. That's the bloodline. Now bleeding it does help release a lot of the blood, but you do want to cut that bloodline out. So I like to go in and just kind of squeeze the fillet till it kind of pops the center up, and I will literally just fillet that bloodline right off the center of the. Filet. And this is uh, what you want to do with pretty much any fish. I'll do it with salmon, trout, catfish, bass, bluegill, anything. So that right there, that's like a real nasty, muddy tasting part of the fish. And if there's any contaminants in the water, that's where it's all going to be is that red meat, that bloody, fatty crap. So anyway, I just get the majority of it out. You can sit here and cut every bit of it out if you want. Um, I'm not really too concerned about it. It's just a little bit. It's a little piece of skin there. I just like to get it clean. As clean as you uh, can get it. So that right there, that's pretty good. That little bit there, I'm not too worried about it. But that's what you're looking for. The perfect size, if you look at my other videos, uh, catfish right here for eating. This fries up just perfect little bite size fillets that are just like you know real easy to eat <laughs> so we'll get back once we start cooking so we're back we got all of our uh, catfish fillets cut off the skin and we're left with just the white meat there and as you can see that is just like snow white beautiful fish so i like to put it in an egg wash a lot of the Recipes you see online will just say, oh, throw it right in the breading. Well, the crust never forms right. The breading always falls off if you don't put the meat in an egg wash. So I like to do that first. Let's actually turn this oil down a little bit. So I just like to use a skillet. I don't like deep frying. Again, it kind of ruins the crust. Something about just... Frying pan with some oil. As far as oil goes, I really like using corn oil. It uh, really complements the flavor of the breading that I use. The breading here is just uh, cornmeal flour, and then I like to cut it with about half flour and cornmeal, and then half of the Louisiana fish fry. I use just the crispy southern fish fry. You can get it pretty much anywhere. Um, I know Winco has it. I think. Walmart has it. Fred Meyers is kind of 50-50. Some of them have it, some of them don't. But anyway, cornmeal breading is the best on these catfish. I don't know what it is about it, but it just really brings out the flavor. So, since it's a cornmeal base, we like to use corn oil. And it comes out really good. So, <clears throat> I start just by uh, dredging my fillets and some beaten egg and then I throw them right there into the uh, breading and uh, just use a fork. I just pack it on there real good. The problem I've noticed with a lot of people, the way they cook fish is they just throw it in a bag and they kind of toss around the fillets in the breading and it just kind of like, kind of just real lightly dusts it. We don't want to dust it. We want to pack it on there to where it forms a good crust. 
So once I've gotten that all packed on there, I'll shake off the excess. And then that's what you're looking for, something like that. And then I drop it right in the oil. And that oil is perfect. The temperature is right where we want it. I like it to be on a little bit of a, more like a medium high, leaning more towards the high. Just because uh, I personally like the fillets being like more on the dark brown, slightly crispy, almost burnt side. I like that flavor a lot more than it being underdone. I'd rather have it closer to being burnt than underdone. I don't know what it is about underdone fish. It just disgusts me. It doesn't taste very good. So... I will just sit here and load up as many as I can. And I always like to put the fillets in. The first one you put in, you start at the 12 o'clock position. Or I guess it will be like the 11 o'clock position. And <clears throat> rotate them in the pan clockwise and then you start flipping them in the order you put them in so let's keep going man if you guys would smell this right now doesn't that smell good yeah <laughs> but, uh, so we'll come back when we're done cooking so back to the frying That'll focus, but yeah, this catfish. Oh man, it turns out so good. So this here is the finished product, and it's just crispy, it's still warm. And you can see the steam coming out of it, but just white meat, just delicious. But uh, as you can see, those little bullhead catfish, I mean, it's like, you know, just the perfect size for snacking on or eating with whatever side you want. I usually like to do some home fries, but didn't really want to do the potatoes tonight. It's kind of late. Yeah. But uh, yeah, this stuff is so good. It's just like the most delicious thing. And when you bleed them and cut out all the red meat and fillet them, I haven't fed this to anybody yet who hasn't liked it. I've had, I don't know how many people tell me they don't like fish. And then they eat some of this and they're like, oh wow, it doesn't even taste like fish. And that's, that's kind of how it's supposed to be. You don't want that real nasty fishy flavor. That kind of ruins it, in my opinion. So yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Kind of like almost, not quite burnt, but almost. You know, dark brown. That's what I like. Love it like that. It's a big fatty, big fat bullhead I got here. Big fatty fillet. So yeah, that got a cup of iced tea there. It's like such a good meal. Some fries, maybe some greens. I like to do black eyed peas. If I'm really gonna do like a whole fish fry. Yeah, this catfish goes so good with just about any any southern side you want. But. All right, guys, hopefully you got something out of it. Hope you enjoyed it. Until then, tight lines.